This video is kindly of brought to you by Skillshare.
I don't think that we've had a chat yet since we um, came here to um, this part of Brittany. Um, yeah, I don't think that I have recorded any um, chatty footage yet because, well, we've just been like enjoying the cottage and yeah, just relaxing and I just wanted you to kind of experience that a little bit and um, yeah that's the reason why I didn't want to uh, interrupt <laughs> um, interrupt the footage with me talking so now that we are reaching the end of our stay um, I just thought that I could pop in um, very quickly and kind of tell you what I'm working on while we're here um, and yeah I'm taking advantage of the fact that it's not raining at the moment because the weather here in Finisterre is quite unpredictable. We are on the western part of France in a place called Pointe du Rat and we're just like next to the ocean, um, the Atlantic Ocean and it's really beautiful here. Um, I've never been to this part of Brittany before and yeah it's very unique um i kind of fell in love with the house that we're staying at um it's just so quiet here um, the only thing that we can hear during the night is when the rain is pouring really hard on the roof or when there's like a little squirrel that is trying to come in though someone told me that there's no squirrels around here so <laughs> i guess I don't want to know what is playing on the roof at night but <laughs> anyways um, yeah the house is really cute um, quite tiny that's why I'm recording outside actually because we are trying to put the baby down to sleep and um, I can't really record um, inside because um, it's like a one main room um, that is like a kitchen and living room and upstairs there's our bedroom and there's like uh, one tiny room for the baby so there's not much space but it's very very cozy and very well isolated and there's beautiful nature around and I could definitely see myself settling here for longer than a week so I think it's gonna be really really hard to leave this place um, I just feel so at ease here um, yeah anyways so the reason why we decided to come here is because, as I have said in the previous vlog, the past couple of months have been quite busy uh, work-wise. It's been quite intense and we've had um, yeah, a couple of rough months with the baby as well because her sleeping pattern completely changed at four months old. She had a sleep regression and we reached a point where she was not Oh, I was not sleeping through the night at all. I was waking up every every single time that I was turning because she was sleeping in the bed with me, um, kind of <laughs> with her mouth locked on my nipple. <laughs> and she was not obviously getting a lot of sleep either because she would wake up whenever I would try to move away from her. and. If, she, if I would try to take it out of her mouth, she would wake up and not be happy at all. So we've tried many things and nothing has worked so far. So I've been doing sleep training with her because that is kind of our last resource. And it's, it's a little bit rough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but she's been doing phenomenal. Um, She's been able to sleep for up to 13 hours at night, which is unbelievable to us because she was waking up every 30 to 45 minutes. So now she's kind of sleeping through the night uh, with no feeding whatsoever. So I'm um, just, we were supposed to stay here for a couple of days only, but I just, I just decided to extend our stay for a little bit longer so we wouldn't disturb the new routine. Um, so that is kind of like one of the main reasons why we decided to come here. Um, 
the place where we live in Van is not very well isolated at all and I didn't want to put my neighbors through you know all the um, baby training sleep training thing so um, hopefully she will be um, kind of like not used to that routine yet because I think that's a lot to ask um, to a tiny baby but that it will be maybe a little bit easier for her um, so yeah we've been doing that um, but the main reason why we decided to come here is yeah to take some time off first of all but also we wanted to but also um, we wanted to take a couple of pictures for um, the forager sweater which is the jumper that I'm wearing every single day uh, we wanted to take a couple of pictures for that pattern so um, yeah we did the photo shoot a couple of days ago and I really really love how um, how the pictures turn out and I think that by the time you will be watching this vlog the pattern should be out really soon and if it's out I will link the pattern down below I cannot be, I'm not sure that <laughs> that is out yet but we will see um, so yeah, we are leaving tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning and going back to Ban and yeah, I'm a little bit nostalgic, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I love the countryside so much. I think that you know that by now that my heart belongs to the countryside. I just feel so peaceful, uh, surrounded by nature, um, beautiful trees, especially here like there they're changing right now and this morning when i opened up the windows because it was pouring rain outside uh, yeah my favorite smell was in the air beautiful wood burning somewhere i had, i just imagined like a, a beautiful stove with wood burning inside and the smell is just my favorite with anything 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 cinnamony <laughs> Um, so yeah. Another reason why um, we decided to take some time away is that um, I wanted to work um, on some knitting and just um, be somewhere else at home. Um, so yeah, I took like two projects with me and to be honest I've been working religiously on one <laughs> only because I've just been obsessed with that pattern um, ever since I cast it on and I, I just wasn't able to stop and it's quite surprising to me because one would think that you know knitting in the round and with not much happening could be boring but the fact that the stitch pattern is something different and the yarn is so squishy and cozy and I don't know, the stitch, did, I, did I mention that the stitch pattern is addictive? I think I did. And the colors are just out of this world. I just wasn't able to stop working on it, to be honest. I worked on it in the evenings. I worked on it where, when we were in the car going places. Um, yeah, it's just, it just flew off my needles. Um, this is gonna be a two project, um, a two patterns project, so is going to be an infinite cow um, and also a scarf and I've just completed the cow version and we're going to stop a couple of pictures and then I'm going to resume knitting on it and, um, and do the scarf so for that project I'm using some of the gorgeous yarn that I have received um, I think there was maybe two videos ago that I recorded footage of me opening a huge box of yarn that came my way and um, I'm using the chunkiest um, this is Serrano from the Aromatera and I don't know if that is a bulky or an iron weight okay look at the light <laughs> this is something else that I absolutely love here is the light is so stunning when we indoors the light is like reflecting on the wood inside 
and you can see you know the um, the shadow of the leaves moving on the wood and on the walls and it's just anyways <laughs> so um yeah this is Tirano and I also ordered um, this one uh, more recently because um, I just wanted to play with two colors for the stitch pattern um, I'm using the same stitch that I have used for my Into the Woods socks and I did a poll on Instagram and on my Patreon as well and um, the large majority of people recommended me to stick to the Into the Woods pattern name for this new design So this is going to be yet another pattern uh, named Into the Woods and I'm going to have a collection of patterns with that name because I just can't stop knitting that stitch. So I wanted to do um, a two color Into the Woods design this time around and this is how it turned out. And I just love these colors together. I'm using the um, Poivre Blanc Poivre Blanc colorway. I think that's the salt and pepper. And the yellow is Jeunet, I believe. Yeah. And these are the new uh, yarn labels from their Madura. The light is crazy in this part of Brittany, or the weather rather. <laughs> it keeps shifting every five minutes. So um, when we took the pictures, it was really interesting because I was standing right here and it was so sunny and all of it, out of a sudden, um, it started pouring rain on us. So I had to use my basket, my foraging basket, <laughs> to, to protect me from all of that rain. Um, yeah, it's just like, a very unpredictable type of weather here <laughs> so this is the cow I still have my needles attached to it um, because I need to do grafting so it's knit in the round completely seamlessly so you're not gonna see any seam and This is kind of how it's gonna look like. Well, not exactly like this, but <laughs> it's a double, um, a double wrap. So that is the cow version. As for the scarf, it's gonna be way longer. I'm gonna use all of the yarn that I have left. I think that I have one more 100 gram ball. Not not sure but I have to see how much yarn I have and if I need to order some more um, I'm gonna do that because I love I love my scarves to be really big anyways I had to go back inside because my card was full um, I recorded so much footage uh, during our stay here that I've had to bring uh, my external hard drive to transfer to transfer some of the files because I knew that I would run out of space um, so yeah, I, I'm assuming that by now you've seen like all of the previous footage and as I have said at the beginning of the video, it's like more of a quiet one, which I'm not really used to, but um, yeah, let me know your thoughts about that if you, if that's something that you enjoyed or if you prefer more chatty videos or if like from time to time um, you enjoy seeing this, this type of content. I really want to try to create videos that you really love and that like make you feel warm inside and cozy and um, and want to try new things out and want to pick up your, ni your knitting needles. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. I think that I was talking about my scarf, wasn't I? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna resume working on this and. Um, I'm gonna see if I have enough uh, yarn to make a really long scarf because I want it to be cozy and this is gonna go so well with my coat as well. 
um, I'm gonna add some fringes to this and I'm gonna add them in the contrasting color um, yeah this is such a cozy um, piece to work on it was so much fun and I'm really looking forward to spending more time with it again um, adding more length to it and blocking it with like um, a really lovely um, soap yarn soap not yarn soap wool soap <laughs> I should be receiving um, uh, a new wool soap that's hard to say a new wool soap very soon um, from a new to me company um, it should be like all ecological and without fragrances and all that so um, yeah if by the time I receive it uh, I'm gonna try like blocking blocking it and I will do like a review um, maybe next time if that's something that you're interested in um, so yeah I also wanted to thank Skillshare for sponsoring another video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands and thousands and thousands of classes on different topics. And this week I took yet another class on botanical illustration because we went foraging for mushrooms quite a few times um, over the past couple of weeks and I have decided to start documenting um, our foraging process my mushrooming knowledge um, <laughs> experience or like kind of try to keep track of the mushrooms that we encounter and um, and yeah I want to learn more about like the mushroom the mushroom world and um, keep track of my journey into mushrooming so I'm planning to uh, start um, a mushroom journal type of thing where I will draw um, the mushrooms that um, I come across uh, to help me like remember them and um, yeah just like have another hobby on the side I guess <laughs> so I purchased the journal already um, and yeah I took this class just to help me um, kind of like start I guess drawing because it's not something that I'm very good at at all so um, yeah I'm gonna finish that class and um, hopefully it will help me um, with my own drawing journey so if you are interested in getting access to two months of premium membership you just have to click on the link in the description box below and yeah you will get access to all of the classes for free so just sign up and enjoy! <laughs>